Something I really like about Nearpod is the ability to add an existing PowerPoint into a Nearpod lesson. It's pretty easy. Let me show you how. So I've already started this Nearpod lesson. I'm going to go ahead and choose Edit. Once I do, it'll open the lesson so far, and I'll go ahead and choose Add Slide. Then I want to choose Add Content. The very first option you see is going to be Slide. This is a little tricky, but that's referring to a Nearpod slide. That's not what we're looking for in this case. So I'm going to scoot over one, and now I see Slideshow. This is where I go to insert a PowerPoint slideshow into my lesson. So once I click there, I get some options to find that PowerPoint file. So it can either be on my local computer, a Google Drive, Dropbox, or OneDrive. I'm going to choose OneDrive and it will connect to my OneDrive folder. Once I see all of my documents, I can find the specific one that I'm wanting to add into this Nearpod lesson. When I choose it, it doesn't look like anything happens. So what I actually need to do is I need to come up and maximize this window. And now in the bottom right corner, you're going to see the blue open button. When I choose open, it'll take me back to my Nearpod lesson that I wanted it added into. And it is going to take a few minutes depending on the size of the file. So you can see in the bottom right corner, it says file processing. Once your PowerPoint is loaded into your Nearpod lesson, it's always a good idea to preview. When I click preview, I would see what the students see in this Nearpod lesson. Here's what the PowerPoint will look like in a Nearpod lesson. So you see the slides on the left, and you can go through those. Now, a couple of things to note. First of all, these are more like screenshots or JPEGs of your PowerPoint slides. So any transitions or animations are no longer going to work. Also another thing to note is that Immersive Reader is not functional at this time with a slideshow. Don't forget that PowerPoint is just one great thing that you can add to a Nearpod lesson. There are tons. Happy creating!